welcome all today i'm going to tell you that how you can send a mail from your java code using your gmail account credentials okay so uh, for that purpose first of all let me show you uh, this is my one email id in and uh, using my code i will send an email to my this account okay so uh, for that purpose uh, i have uh, i will uh, we will start from a uh, you can say maven project so this is just like uh, this is just a maven project and in this maven project uh, for writing a code to send email uh, from your gmail account you need one jar so in your prompt.xml you have to add one dependency this one com.send.mail and this is the main uh, java uh, javax mail okay and this is the you can say version you can use if uh, you can use the version according to your java then i'm using the java 8 so it is compatible with that okay now we'll start uh, writing the you can say uh, code for that okay so uh, i've just created a, a java class a gmail sender and uh, just written the main function here so first of all for writing the code two things are very very important first thing is that uh, which id uh, you uh, to which id you want to send your mail and from which id you want to send your mail so it means you want you have to tell two information one is to and one is from so i have created two uh, variable here one is uh, to string variable i have created two uh, variable to uh, to which id you want to send your email and i have created a from variable to give the mail id from which email id you want to send my email so actually i will send email from this email id and send to this email id so i created two uh, two different variables for that okay so after that this thing after giving these two things now i have to tell i have to set the email server so i have to set the email server properties for that purpose i will do one thing uh, because i have lots of properties i have to set so that purpose i am using a concept of java that is called properties okay so i am using the concept of properties so it is giving error because you have to use the import this java util you have to import it so now this is a, a, a in my framework question, I've already told you that uh, what is the what is the purpose of this class to read the uh, properties uh, to set the properties in a in a you can say uh, class. OK, so now I have created object of properties. Now I am going to set my property. So for setting the properties, I will use the uh, function uh, properties and there is a method that is called put. So I will set all the properties like you can say uh, what is the host. OK, let me show you. Let me show you. So I'm going to set the property, this one here. The first property you have to set mail SMTP host means which SMTP, simple mail transfer protocol. SMTP is known as simple mail transfer protocol. So which SMTP server you want to use for sending the email. So I'm writing SMTP gmail.com. It is fixed. Okay. Second thing, which port it is using? It is using 465. It is also a standard for Gmail. Third is that SMTP SSL enable SSL means secure uh, secure uh, secure session layer. So for this you are enabling true means you want to make a make it SSL true. And third thing is SMTP authentication. You want to do a authentication for the email. Yes, we want to make it authentication. Okay. So now we have set this property. So we have set the this property. After that, after that. We have just, you can say we have uh, mentioned the email ID to, we have created a variable from, we have created a properties reference variable so that I have set all the problem. Now we are ready to uh, create a session. Session means I am going to make a connection with my Gmail server. I am going to make a connection with my Gmail server. So for that purpose, we have to use a code. We have to use a class and that class is known as session. That class is known as session. So this class is, you can say available. This class is also available in the you can the same package. Let me click on this one. You can say the, you have only one jar. You can say Java, uh, Javax dot. So everything which is coming, you can have to use the same one. So you can not uh, this Java dot net. You have to use Javax. Email. So I've used this one. OK, so now what is this code? Let me explain you. Maybe you are uh, just thinking that it is a little bit complex, but it is not uh, complex. Just see here. You have created a reference, uh, session reference variable. And here uh, with the help of this session, uh, you can say class. You have to call a method get instance and in get instance you have to pass the parameter actually in passing the parameter whatever you are able to highlight it is actually a parameter but here we are using a concept that i don't want to go into detail of that concept that is called anonymous class anonymous class means sometimes you don't uh, you create an object of a class at you can see you create a class at runtime and at the same time you create an object of that class okay so actually at runtime i'm trying to create the uh, I'm uh, trying to create the authenticator class 
uh, you can say I'm trying to create a child of authenticator class and then try to override. So, but I again, I will say don't uh, go into the complexity of uh, that part, anonymous class. Simple see that you have to create a session object and then you have to write session dot get instance and you pass first a parameter property that you have already set it here all the properties related to the smtp okay this parameter you have to pass it second you have to write new jvx mail dot authenticator and in this uh, you have to actually uh, override this function that is called get password authentication and in this get password authentication you have to write this code return new password authentication and here you have to pass the email id so i'm passing an email id suppose uh, password so suppose don't uh, suppose it you can i'm just writing a, a exec uh, id this is the id and this is the valid id and this is the valid password okay if i will log in with this email id and this password it will work okay that is another thing that after giving this demo session i will change this password uh, okay so that nobody can access it so this is the valid id and valid password i've given here so my session is created okay so now let me let me come to the next point so after uh, creating your session, what you have to do, uh, if you want to, if you want to uh, yeah, uh, debug your things, if you want to debug your session things, then you can use this code. Otherwise, it is not important. This one, if you want to debug, means uh, what happens that if uh, at the uh, at the time of running the code, if there will be an error, so this will uh, this, with the help of this, this you will get the error as a log. Okay. So now this is not important. If you want, after that we are going to set the uh, message. We are going to set the messages. Uh, for my email, whatever message we want to set. So this is the, you can say, this is the important things. This is the, you can say, important thing. Uh, uh, so here I'm good again, JVX I'm using to for my every, everything which I'm using here. So here you can see it is very important thing. You have to set this one. First, you have to, in the try block, uh, I'm creating a message, MIM message object by passing this session, whatever session you have created, you can see I've created a session for sending the email. So this session object you have to, pass it here in the MIM message and you can say object creation. After that, you can set properties like set from uh, from which email ID you want to set. So this is, you can say this is the object of, you have to create object of new internet address and in from you are, uh, you have to pass. What is the from? We have created a from variable to set the email ID, this one, right? This email Adhika uh, nail wall 55, I've been just mentioning that this is my from email id in the same way two is given by the add recipient you have in the recipient section you have to give uh to which id you want to send your email so first parameter message recipient type two and here again you have to create the object of new internet address and pass two what is two uh, we have already created a variable two means from uh, to which id we want to send the email like this is to the nalva now the third thing is that you have to set the subject message dot subject. What will be the subject of your, or you can say header of your email that you can set with the help of this message dot subject. Then message dot set text set set is what is the actual content of your mail means what uh, uh, what data you want to send in your body, what text you want to write that you are going to write it here. And this is simple uh, message SOP so that you can able to see that is sending the message or not. And then you have to call the special method transport dot send when you when the control will come to this line transport dot send then actual message sent and at last you will get the message message sent successfully you will get the message okay so you will get the message here and it will run fine so okay okay so i will show you that it is working or not so i will show you this thing and this is very important so 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 let me run this so i'm going to run it Okay, so it run and it throws any error. So actually you will also get this error. Okay, so what is the reason behind this? I will tell you. Actually, you will see the error is saying that javex.mail authentication uh, username and password is not accepted. So why we are getting in this error? I will tell you. Actually, previously, uh, you can say recently G Gmail has made some changes in their configuration. Uh, uh, you can say previously when you want to send any email from your Gmail account, in that case, in the Gmail, there was an option to make your email account less secure. You can make the configuration to make it less secure and then you can send then you can use your Gmail account, your Java code. Using your Java code, you can send the email. But now they have uh, depreciated that thing. That uh, less secure option is not available. Now they have added a new thing that if you want to send your email, if you want to send, if you want to use your Gmail account for sending email using your Java code, then you have to generate a application password for that. 
So here you can say that I'm using this password, this password, whatever password you usually use from your Gmail account, your username password, that is not going to work. So username will be same, but here we are going to use a specific password. So I'm pasting a password here, which I've already generated. Okay, now you can see I have just pasted the password. Now again, I'm running this thing and let's just see what happened. Now change the password and you can say, now my code ran successfully and you get the message here. If you want to check, just go to my, uh, you can say, go to just uh, check the my email account also. And you will say, uh, 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 I got this mail. You can see here. Let's make automation easy. This message is from, let's make automation from learning purpose. And this is just zero minute. So you can say this message, I have sent a message from Adhika account, Adhika mail, whatever I've configured here, here from this account to this account. And only the thing is that now the question is that it was not working here previously when I've given the uh, usual normal like uh, password, which we usually use in my G in our Gmails that was not working. So how this password we will get, okay. How this special password we get, how we will get this application password for this purpose. Actually, you have to generate a password with the help of two step authentication in your Gmail account. So whatever is your Gmail account, you have to enable your two, uh, two step authentication, and then you can generate a application password and you can generate application password for your mail means whenever you want to send any email from your Java, a code, then you have to use that specific password. Okay. So now the question is that how you will, how, how you can generate this password for that purpose. I've already created a video, a uh, Gmail configuration for sending email from Java code. I've created a separate video for that. You can get it on my channel and using that you can just create a, or generate a password for your email account. And the uh, this, uh, link of uh, that video, I have already mentioned in the description of this video. So you, now you can see, you can use this uh, whole thing in your uh, project also for, uh, for your uh, automation framework also. So uh, uh, after you can say in my next video, I will show you that this is the code to send the email. Uh, just we are sending the email where we are mentioning the subject and text. In the next upcoming video, I will show you that how you can attach some files here. And what is the use of that? Whenever you are going to use your uh, use this code in your automation framework and you have generated some reports, some HTML report, whatever uh, reports you have generated, extend report, test ng report, you can attach that report in your mail and then send to the recipient. So that we, I will share you in my next upcoming videos. If you like the content of uh, this video, you can comment me. If you have any query, you can comment me. If you have not subscribed my channel, you can subscribe it. And don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you can watch all other good interview latest and useful videos related to the testing automation. Thank you.